What are some cheat codes you've found in the game of life? Several times in life I've cold called a company to confirm my interview time. I didn't have one prior to my call, but in their confusion and inability to even find my resume I've managed to secure an interview about 4 out of 5 times. Twice I've gotten the job. You can mute the self checkout kiosks. You can also increase the volume on all of them just before your departure. When my daughter was little and still believed band-aids cured things. One time she had a belly ache, so I put one on her belly and it made her feel better. Power of Placibus. When I was in my old 500 plus person building, I kept a stack of papers on my desk. When I was bored or got tired of sitting down, I'd get up, grab my stack of papers and walk around. I called them my walking papers and did this for months. Got a lot of head nods and not one question the entire time. People always assumed I was on an important mission. But nope. Not in the least. P.S. Worked on the executive floor slash wing. 2. Take a $1 bill and flip it over. Now tape a $5 bill and tape it to the end of the upside down single with as little tape as possible to make it secure. Now feed the $5 bill into a change machine. The coin machine reads the 5. Gives you quarters. Then reads the upside down single. Rejects that. And boom. You got yourself a felony. Niceness gets you everywhere. I get free shit from being nice. And no. It's not because I'm a cute girl. Because I'm not. I'm an overweight. Balding man. People respond to niceness. I've befriended the Comcast customer support person. I've befriended the most disliked. Crotchety person in our office. I get special treatment at my cafeteria. Because I treat the service staff like actual human beings. I get fees waived. Because I ask nicely. Be nice. It costs little and is worth a lot. Once you unlock not giving a duck about other people's thoughts you basically double your manner indefinitely. If you have no complaints about your food service slash staff at a restaurant. Ask to see the manager and pay a compliment and a thank you about the server slash host slash staff. Usually people want to see a manager to complain. And a compliment is nearly always welcome. I've gotten countless free DRINKS slash APPETIZERS slash CHIPS slash percent off my bill, all for just making a polite comment to management. Edit, thanks for the Reddit gold. Kind stranger. I had a professor in college who, while lecturing, suddenly let out a huge fart. Without pausing, he turned his head, as if talking to someone behind him, said yes and heat and continued lecturing, as if nothing had happened. It immediately diffused defused any potential awkwardness and embarrassment. And I vowed to use the same strategy, if the same thing ever happened to me in front of a large crowd of people. Not a cheat code, but an easter egg. If you ask someone, if they know all the words to him a little teapot around 80% of the people you ask, will start singing it. Half of those will do the gestures. If you tuck a chicken's head under its wing and wave the chicken in a circle, it will automatically fall asleep. It's not a very good cheat code, but it's still a cheat code to get you sleeping chickens. Doing your own research especially on the important stuff, you would be amazed about the bad information people use to make life choices. Walk with a purpose. For some reason. People think you're busy and you don't get hassled. No one stops a guy or girl carrying a pizza. It can get you backstage to concerts. The correct response to any compliment is thank you. You can then follow it up with a comment if you'd like to continue the conversation. If someone likes your dress, thank you. It has pockets. If someone compliments your art, thank you. I've been practicing. If someone asks if you're a professional singer because you have a good singing voice, thank you. I just sing for fun. Apostrophe. Not only does it make you seem confident and self-assured, it tells them that they are right. That's a friendly thing to do. This even works if you don't believe the compliment. Saying, oh, no, I'm ugly. When someone compliments your appearance not only tells them that they're wrong, it makes you think of yourself as ugly. A better answer would be, thank you. I really appreciate that, and I don't always believe it. So hearing that from you helps. Apostrophe. I'm an assistant teacher in a preschool. 
asking if kids can use their sitting muscles and listening muscles during circle time makes the kids want to show me how strong they are. All good and well until some kid flexes their sitting muscles too hard and suddenly you've got a poopy pants emergency. Compliment your children with you are a hard worker and not your smart. Studies show that kids who think they are hard workers outperform kids who think they are smart. As an adult you can tell almost any kid who is running to stop running and they will. You become the people you surround yourself with. A pretty wise ex-drug user I worked with once told me, if you hang around the barber shop long enough, eventually you're going to get a haircut. Basically, watch the crowd and the activities you surround yourself with. You don't have to always give away the recipe. By that I mean, don't over explain yourself. If you can't do something, 9 tenths times it's okay to simply say unfortunately I'm not able to do that, can't swing it this time, etc. You don't have to go on and on about why, or make up reasons and list them off. Over explaining just ends up looking more suspect than simply being clear and concise. When someone says something true, say yeah right, not I know. It'll make them feel better and you have still shown everyone how awfully clever you are. The remain silent dialogue option is useful, even if you have to scroll down to find it. It can keep you from failing or getting locked out of certain quest lines. If any website offers a percentage coupon code like 10% off try higher values like 20% off, they often have them. Yeah I'm going straight for 100% off and working my way down from there. Ask questions about everything. Ask people about themselves. Be open about stuff you don't understand. And ask questions about that. When you forget someone's name, own up to it and just ask them. I'm amazed at how many people won't acknowledge even a tiny amount of ignorance or won't show honest curiosity about something. Can't admit they've forgotten something they feel is important and won't ever ask for help. Guys. Your life becomes so much easier if you just drop the ducking ego and ask. The best advice I ever received was from my grandmother. I was a talkative child and would ask questions non-stop. When I apologized for asking, so many one day she looked me straight in the eye and said never stop asking questions. I have a heated throw blanket in my living room in the winter. I wrap my coat up in it, crank up the heat, and in a few minutes, my coat is toasty warm so I can brave the coldest day. Get a credit card like Amex Blue that has 3, 6% cash back at groceries. Buy all your items at grocery store. I'll use Kroger as an example. You can buy normal groceries plus gift cards. Amazon. Delta. H&M. McDonald's. Whatever, and get the cash back on that deal. Then, if you time it with their 4x fuel rewards, you can save $1 slash gallon off gas up to 35 gallons. Altogether, the math works out to being 12-15% off pretty much everything I like. You can borrow almost all of your textbooks from the library as a college student because of modern book rental agreements most colleges have. WorldCat allows you to be linked to almost any library in America. And all you have to do is find your book in the system and fill out a request form at a library, and it should be there in a week. I've saved probably $2,000 doing this in my first two years of college. I cannot overstate how much dressing well and being well-groomed will impact your life. It'll drop the difficulty by two or three levels. No joke. People will treat you vastly differently. The opposite is also true. When married don't stop treating your significant other like you did when you were trying to win them over. It is a great way to show them you're still as infatuated with them as you were when you first met. Pause like wait. When asked a question or engaging in idle conversation and someone is speaking, do not immediately begin your reply. When they stop speaking, they usually aren't done. And in the case of questions most people, and finished and, if you give them time they usually provide 10 answer to the question as well. So yeah listen as well. As a doctor, I learned that earning grades, and learning are two different things. Under promise and over perform. Say you'll achieve less than you think you will, and then do more and everyone will be impressed, works well at a job. If you're genuinely pleasant to be around, and you show up when it counts people will let you get away with a lot of slacking off. Also, people like talking about themselves, 
When you meet someone just ask them questions about their lives or the things they've done. If you have enough questions you won't ever run out of things to talk about during the conversation and they walk away feeling so heard. Plus, then you know more about them, and next time you see them, you will have even more to talk about or follow up on. Hey last time I saw you, you were mentioning this thing at your job. How did that go? Etc. Faking confidence usually leads to actually being more confident. I love the phrase fake it till you make it. It's incredible how much success is a byproduct of just acting confident about whatever you are doing. To seem charming. All you have to do a lot of the time is to be an engaged listener. You don't need an amazing sense of humor. To be able to lay on the compliments or regale people with stories. Just listen to other people in a way that shows you are interested and not only waiting for your turn to talk, make eye contact. Don't interrupt them. Don't turn the conversation to be about you. Ask good questions. Edit. I just want to add, as per many comments here, that being engaged listener is not the same as being a sort of conversational dormant where you have to allow people to drone on and on about things that don't interest you, annoy you, offend you, or drain you. Merely suffering through an encounter is pretty much the opposite of what I'm talking about. It's about letting yourself be interested in and learn from other people and not focus so much on feeling like you have to be an entertainer. And being an engaged listener is really the opposite of the person who just listens and never wants to talk about themselves. You are putting yourself into the conversation with your interested responses. You are guiding it to places you find interesting. Just suffering through boring conversations is not engaged listening. If you admit you're wrong and make changes to whatever it is that you're wrong about, people will respect and appreciate you more. Unfortunately this requires the swallow underscore ego. It'll patch installed. Without this you will be incapable of being a civil person. Just be nice. Particularly to people in the service industry, your job, your personal interactions. Even your calls into customer service will go 100% easier if you're just nice to people and recognize that they're probably just trying to do their job, not screw you over. Act like you belong. In any situation, it will change your life. Also I've found that you become what you pretend to be, so be good. If you are punctual, smartly dressed, and quite friendly. You can actually get pretty far in most jobs without being that good at anything, or trying very hard. If you're bold and shave your head, you'll be mistaken for an angry skinhead and panhandlers won't ask you for money or cigarettes. If you work Monday Friday, spend a small amount of time on Sunday afternoon slash evening sorting out your lunch for the week. I batch cook a pot of something and portion it out into 5 containers. It saves a ton of money. It's usually healthier, and it saves time having to make something quickly each morning, because you can just grab a container out of the fridge and go. Believe in yourself. I know it sounds cheesy but it's true. When you believe in yourself anything is possible, because you are no longer bound to the expectations of others. Your life truly becomes your own. Close. Close. Close runner up would be awareness over your thoughts and emotions. More awareness. More control. Less reactions. More happiness. If you're physically attractive you can get away with a lot of shit. No matter what your bedtime and wake up time is stick with it. After a decade of being that person on Facebook at 3am and off to work 4 hours later I started to view sleep as a enjoyable activity not a chore. Game changer. Mornings are never a drag. If I have trouble sleeping. I can make up for it the next morning without ducking up my whole day. When it's your bedtime, turn off the lights and wait. And don't touch your ducking phone or your computer. Don't get out of bed wait. When your alarm goes off, get up. Repeat for two weeks. Enjoy a better life. Mirroring people's body language and tone of voice will make them comfortable with you quite quickly. Set the do not disturb feature on your phone to turn on from 10pm to 7am. You will sleep so much better without constant notifications from emails, games, or your mother-in-law who wants to send a group message at midnight because she is in a different time zone. If you have people you want to be able to reach you, family slash girlfriend slash boyfriend, you can make a special list that will let only their calls slash messages come through. Call people by their name. 
but not annoyingly or too often. That gets creepy in a hurry. People love to hear their name and you're a good person for remembering it. I have a skin color earpiece bluetooth that I use at work without anyone knowing, so that I can listen to music and podcasts. Boxes and clothes. You just carry different kinds of boxes and wear different stuff to places. Wanna go to a paid event? Walk around with a large brown box labeled lighting equipment and a tucked in black polo. Crash a wedding? Walk around with a medium gift wrapped box and a cheap suit. Get into locked research facilities? Know a name. Walk around with a small white box with a lid labeled drive. Name you know, and a lab coat. Museums? Carry a brown box labeled restoration equipment and glasses. Any technology facility? Carry a giant orange box and a hoodie and sweet pants. The box is the key. People will open doors. Use their key codes, because you can't reach yours. Allow you into backstage. Into storage. Into private personnel areas. People will curiously look at you, and ask what's in the box. You will not answer. You only need box. The more aggressive security looks, the more you must look like you are struggling with box. Sweat. Huff and puff. A casual box stroll for lazy guards. Heavy steps. And dragging to aware ones. You do not need charm. Or wit. Or acting ability. Or to be a good liar. Or good memory. Or even a trassiveness. You only need box. You will gain access to things you never would have dreamed of. Rich is normally locked behind security systems. And gun wielding men and digital cameras. But you don't care about that. You only care about getting more boxes. Do your best to show your appreciation for the administrative assistants where you work. Be friendly. Get them Christmas gifts. Show your appreciation for the work they do. These people hold an incredible amount of power and can save your ass. The administrative assistants, custodians, and at guys. If you're at a bar and want a girl's number, don't ask for her number. Instead ask for her snapchat, and they will 99% of the time agree regardless if you're ugly, undesirable, etc. Hit them up the next day, and see how it goes. I've had good results doing this. Edit, not that I'm ugly or undesirable. My mom says I'm handsome. Just because you don't have the skill they ask for on the job description, doesn't mean you shouldn't apply. You can always get the job first then learn later, or in most cases. They will almost always train you before you officially start. You're already halfway in the battle when you apply. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.